Now let's have our first speaker, Mr. Anil Sethi, VP and General Manager Channels, Dell Technologies, to share his experience. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, uh, great to be here uh, virtually. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank War India team for giving me the platform and giving this opportunity to speak to you all. I'm thankful for the nomination and thankful for all the votes supporting me and for all the numerous personal messages that partners and peers have sent me. I haven't been able to personally revert uh, to many of you, and but I'm thankful indeed. This has uh, really, really been phenomenal. So thank you very much. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's indeed a pattern of pride that as, uh, as well as an indication of an, uh, confidence that uh, partner community has uh, shown in me and that's what we, and, and what we do at Dell. Uh, but I think uh, I'll talk uh, about Dell a little later today um, and let me talk about uh, industry itself. The IT industry in India has been over 35 to 40 years old as the as, a, as, as the industry found its footing in the country and uh, with a good customer base and even better, a strong ID experts, the growth has been phenomenal. And uh, that led to the birth to many of the organizations, first generation entrepreneurs like you, uh, who spotted the phenomenal opportunity and established uh, the, their organizations. Uh, you, my dear partners, um, should be proud that uh, what you have achieved till now, you have played a pivotal role uh, in making IT industry what it is today. And it has given uh, footing to many of the large OEMs uh, in the industry and has created a talent pool for the customers and OEMs. And most of us rely upon you for that. Uh, you infuse capital into different ticket sizes, infuse ensured IT uh, reach in the far and wide corners of the country. So hats off to you. This has been just truly phenomenal. Uh, but as we, as, we, as, we, as we move on uh, and we see that, you know, we, we are currently going through this uh, pandemic which hit us into this year. But what we kind of see is 2020 has been a year of uh, great accelerations. We've seen a massive acceleration in the digital transformation and uh, digitally enabled businesses uh, continue to rocket forward. Organizations uh, uh, continue to adopt more remote uh, workspace solutions at a feverish pace and uh, leverage hybrid and cloud um, IT services. We're seeing advancements in uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, which is picking up pace. Uh, online education and telemedicines are already received a tremendous boost. Through this change, what's important is that the technology will not only be catalyst to growth, but also be a key differentiating, uh, key differentiator uh, for the organizations. <clears throat> As we move on, uh, uh, I, I think that uh, market dynamics, as you all know, are sh shifting. And uh, the shift that there's a surge in the public cloud, co-location, multi-cloud modeling, there are hyperscalers up over there. Uh, IT as a service and all other disruptions are coming. So there are there is a huge advancement in AI and MI machine learning, which I spoke to you about just now. And so how do we get back to stay relevant? I think that's the key question coming back now. And um, this is this is in my opinion a bit of a time to introspect and uh, give uh, give a birth to new us. Uh, like, you know, uh, there's a biomimicry, <clears throat> biomimicry is a big buzzword, by the way, today, right? So, 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 so if I was to take a leap from there, uh, there goes a story of how the falcon revitalizes itself after reaching a certain age. And when its feathers are heavy, the flight is slow. The falcon goes on in the lonely area and snatches out uh, the feathers, which is a very painful process. And, uh, and the flight is slow. The falcon goes out in a lonely area once he's done that and gone through this painless process. Over the next few days, uh, the new feathers emerge and falcon is good as new again. 
exactly we are in my opinion sometime somewhere some some somewhere into the similar situation we really uh, and uh, you all really need to reinvent and we all really need to reinvent one more time we don't need to go through this hair pulling process by the way but we need to reinvent uh, in order to stay relevant and uh, it's important that uh, uh, that you need to be uh, to, to be an investor ready organization uh, for infusion of fresh capital, uh, ideas, uh, skills. Um, and, and remember uh, that, you know, this is an ongoing process and this is very important that organizations who are going to add up to the, uh, add up to the new skills, uh, they, and, 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 uh, and, and transform them, transform themselves into the changing environment uh, and changing customer needs uh, will be the organization which are going to be successful and stay relevant for the next decade. So it would be extremely, extremely important to see that uh, the required skill sets um, have your focus, your focus on. Carve out some, be, carve out some niche uh, areas where you can be really, really good. Um, it's important to build up new revenue streams and uh, Financial discipline, I always talk about, is super important for any uh, healthy, good-looking PNL, uh, which would be attractive for any investors. Uh, because uh, how do you dress up PNL is super critical uh, when you run a business. And uh, creating a growth culture within your own organizations uh, uh, would be very important. Everybody should think about that. So it's a, it's 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 a one very very important uh, uh, aspect creating a growth culture. Uh, every single person in the organization should think about the growth. So I think these are some of the important things that would be critical uh, as you guys uh, move it into and we all together collectively move it into the next decade uh, from here on. And this next decade would be super important to see that how we have and and how fast and how. And, and what kind of changes we have made it into the organization. And remember, I and my team, everyone is uh, committed uh, to serving you and uh, be a part of your growth and to assist you in every single step uh, that you reinvent yourself and together we do it ourselves uh, for the next wave. At Dell, we would be always available for you. And uh, I would just like to leave it with one message uh, to all the partners today. Uh, we are here to help. Uh, all the best and uh, see you in the field. Take care. We are delighted to announce the winner, Mr. Anil Sethi, VP and General Manager Channels Dell Technologies. His vision for the channel is, Together, along with the partners, Dell is bringing the solutions that enable customer skills that simplify the complexities and capabilities that encourage innovation. Dell Technologies continues to raise the bar on its promise of offering a simple, predictable, profitable partner program.